Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to sketch this angle in standard position. And this one gets a lot of students you know, confused because not only is it in radians, what? It is in radians, um, but it's also a decimal because yes, if it was in degrees, we would put a degree symbol in there. So how am I going to represent 5.8 a lot of times when radians when there's no pi? Well, again, we need to go back and remember, first of all, standard form is we're going to start with our initial side, which is going to be on our x-axis between the first and the fourth quadrant. And then this is positive, so we're going to go in a positive direction. But the next thing we need to understand is what exactly, again, is a radian. So if I draw a circle, it's not a bad circle. Um, again, remember, if I take my radius and I wrap it around my circle, and I'm going to try to do the best I possibly can, if I take this radius and wrap it around a circle, that is what we call a radian. So this would be one radian, but I have 5.8 of them. So one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And then you could see there's 1 radian, 2 radians, 3 radians. And you could see there's 3 radians almost goes all the way around. So that's 3.14159, which we just call pi. And then here is my fourth radian, and here's my fifth radian. Now, you can see that's 0.8. Now, I, again, I'm kind of sketching this in there, but if I want to do 0.8, I could break this into eights. So first I'll break it into halves, then I'll break it into fourths, then I'll break it into eights. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not in eights. Oh, I need to break it up into tenths, don't I? Um, so therefore, my bad. I need to break it up into eights. I need to break it up into tenths. So we're going to half, and then we'll do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so now it's broken up into tenths. So now I can just count eight of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's going to be my ending value. So therefore, the angle starts at my initial side and then is going to rotate all the way down to my terminal side. And then, if I just want to sketch everything else, I can kind of erase the rest of my circle here and all this extra information. That's my x-axis. That's my y-axis. And therefore, you can see the sketch of the graph, which is almost like 270 degrees. It's almost at the x-axis. But however, it's uh, 2 tenths away, um, uh, roughly around 2 tenths away from being at six, uh, 6 ratings. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, uh, well, Roughly, actually, no, it's, yeah, it's not at the 270. It's very close, but it's not two tenths away from there because I'm estimating, so it looks like it, but it's not exactly there. But, anyways, that's exactly how you sketch a radian when it's a decimal. Thanks.